Hi guys, it is day 38 of Savor at Home, and tonight we're gonna be trying something pretty cool. We are trying an Irish whiskey. Uh, it's one of the spot whiskeys. It's not the green spot, it's not the yellow spot. We are trying red spot. So you've probably heard of green spot and yellow spot. Red spot, uh, was recently released and it's very hard to find. I have no idea how it popped up uh, in my liquor store. But anyways, so this, uh, for those of you who haven't heard of heard of it, this is an Irish whiskey. It is a single pot still Irish whiskey aged for a minimum of 15 years. So single pot still, what that means is that all the distillation is done at one distillery. And uh, it is Mitchell and Sons who, uh, who mature the whiskey and then release it as green spot, red spot, yellow spot, you know, whatever. Anyways, uh, a little bit about uh, Mitchell and Sons is that they started in the early 1800s as bakers. And towards the late 1800s, they started importing fortified wines. And uh, they quickly realized that maturing whiskey in fortified wine barrels or sherry barrels or port barrels um, got a really wonderful flavor profile to come through from the whiskey. So what they would do is they would take their empty wine barrels and send them up to Jameson and actually have Jameson fill those barrels and then they would send them back and uh, age them in their cellars. Now they would put a colorful dot on the barrel to indicate how long that barrel was going to age for. Um, they had a blue spot, which meant a minimum of seven years. The green spot meant a minimum of 10 years. The yellow spot, a minimum of 12. And the red spot meant a minimum of 15 years. And that's why they are releasing their different uh, spot whiskeys. This is where that came from. Um, now, Red Spot was not released until 2018 for, or re-released until 2018 for the first time since the 1960s, which I think is why there was such a buzz about it. Um, anyways, so where this whiskey comes from, it is, as I said, it's from Middleton Distillers. Uh, they actually have three of the largest uh, stills that are currently operating in the world. They're 75,000 liter stills, uh, pretty massive. Um, and it's triple distilled. So that means it goes through the still three times. Uh, this is very typical for Irish whiskeys. It gives you much more of a pure, clean spirit that comes out that way, a lot more lighter notes. Um, also in the fermentation, what they use uh, needs to be a combination of malted and unmalted barley. So in order again to be under the classification of single pot still uh, whiskey, it has to have a minimum of 30% unmalted and a minimum of 30% malted barley making up the mash um, and a maximum of 5% of other cereals or grains. Um, this just says it comes from malted and unmalted barley, which means that that's all that they're using in there. Now, when you're using unmalted barley in the mash, this will tend to bring out a little bit more spicy notes, not quite as sweet as if you were using um, traditional malted barley. Uh, so there's a combination of that here. And for Red Spot, they use a combination of three different barrel aging methods. So they use X bourbon casks, X oloroso, and X uh, marsala casks for their maturation. All right, I think I said enough. Let's go ahead and dive in. So the very anticipated uh, sip of the day here. Yeah, very excited to try this. I just picked it up today. The nose is very light. There's a lot, a lot of uh, fruity flavors coming through. A little like um, like a, a honeysuckle thing. Like an orange blossom too. Like a very light, very floral, but a little hint of fruitiness. 
but then there's also like lots of lots of strawberry in here. You know, like that when you put the powdered sugar on it. A tiny bit of baking spice, like cinnamon. Ooh, like some nuttiness, maybe hazelnuts. Yeah, yeah, hazelnuts. Maybe a little almond. Yeah, uh, very nice, delicate, fruity nose. The mouth has a lot more, or the palette has a lot more, um, a lot more grainy notes to it. It's more of like that special K cereal that has the dehydrated strawberries in it. Um, so you're getting little kicks of fruit that come in, but there's also a lot of baking spice in here. It's not just cinnamon. There might be a little, maybe a little clove. Um, yeah, the palette isn't quite as, uh, as really, really sweet as the nose was. There's a little bit more depth to it. Um, a good, like, kind of, uh, roasted, roasted cinnamon thing at the end, uh, in the finish, mostly like baking spice in the finish, um, uh, maybe some oakiness as well. But yeah, it's, um, very delicious. Uh, I, this is at 46% ABV, um, and I picked this bottle up today for about 120 bucks. Um, I was really looking forward to trying it. It's very good. Very delicious. Thanks guys.